When it comes to COVID-19, many people are hoping for a cure. And when the word cure pops up, people always think of a vaccine. In the case of COVID-19, a vaccine for cure is rather challenging. Let's see why. First, what is a vaccine? Let's say vaccine for flu virus. We are actually injecting the flu virus into our body. Many people do not realize that. So why are we not sick? Because the flu virus that we're injecting in are inactivated, very low concentrations, or they are not harmful in certain parts of the virus, such as its genetic materials. So when our immune system detects this inactivated, low-level, less harmful, or genetic material of the virus, they kill it. So the next time the same virus attacks us, our own immune cells will remember, and it will kill the virus very quickly. So we are protected. Vaccine needs a period of time to, eat, to activate our body. Normally, for flu vaccine, for example, we need at least two weeks. So based on all these, there are several things that we should know. Number one, each one of us have very different immune system. You and me will have very different immune systems. Even the number and the activity of our white blood cells are different. Now that's just between you and me. Even within myself, as I'm aging, as I'm getting older, the activity and the amount of our white blood cells will also decrease. Vaccine will not show the same efficacy for everyone. Number two, once a virus mutates and change, as what we've discussed in part one, change its keys or genetic material, this vaccine is less effective. So that is why we need a flu vaccine once or twice each year because the flu virus mutates very quickly. So the vaccine that we use the previous year that we inject into ourselves the previous years will be less effective for this year. For those that are familiar with a taxonomic tree, you can see many different branches branching out. So on a simpler note, let's look at the map. A different color indicates a different genetic pattern. We can see, for example, purple color from China. And when it comes to Malaysia, its blue color indicates a different variant of the virus already. And then when it goes to the United States, as indicated by the red color, and to South America by the orangey yellow color, we can see that each time this virus goes somewhere, it changes. How can we develop a vaccine to keep on chasing this virus? Coronavirus is actually a group of viruses. It's not one virus. There is a committee. It's called International Committee on Taxonomy of Viruses, or ICTV, has listed the full genome sequence or where the genetic materials of the virus information is known. And in that list, there are already 20 different species of coronavirus. Us humans, as different as we are and as diverse as we are, yet we are all the same one species. And everybody seems to think that this coronavirus comes from bat. Well, these 20 species, they come from exotic animals such as bats, alpaca, peafowl, and even whale. They also come from animals that are very close to us, such as domestic cat, dog, pig, chicken, cow, and different types of birds. Why are we not getting sick all the time? Well, because most of these coronavirus, these different species, they remain in animals. Of all the ones that we know so far, eight infected humans. Out of these eight, five are less harmful. And they have been among us for some time. If we get it, if we get infected, we get a very mild flu. And we would most probably just dismiss it. The other three has, have caused high mortality rate in humans. The first was SARS which happened in 2002 and which caused over 8,000 cases and over 700 deaths. Then came MERS in 2012, which caused over 2,000 cases and over 800 deaths. 
and then in 2019, last year, SARS-CoV-2, which we are experiencing now. So the concept of vaccine is rather challenging in this case of COVID-19, and only highly efficient if it fulfills two criteria. So first, imagine we have five variants, or four variants of this virus, virus one, two, three, four, all COVID-19, but they have different genetic makeup at this region. But they have the same genetic makeup, let's say, at this region. We have to find this region and build a vaccine. So, of course, we hope that the fifth one that comes will not change at this region. If not, the vaccine will be less effective. Number two, as in all viruses, after a while, the virus will slow down, calm down, becomes more stable because they become more familiar with the new host. Just like human beings. When we move into a new house in a particular area, we are a little bit nervous, maybe a little bit aggressive. But if we're in the same area and we keep on moving houses, we become more familiar with the surrounding, more familiar with the houses there. We become more calm, we become less aggressive. It's the same with the virus. So we have to wait for the virus to come down. It may take some time. And then the next vaccine that targets the latest calm down virus will be more effective. We want to change the door that the virus is entering so that we change the door, the virus using its keys cannot open the door. If we can find a chemical or a drug that can block this door, the virus cannot enter. China released the model of ACE2. Remember ACE2? We talked about ACE2 in part two. Now we know the model, we know the mold. So if a chemical can fit this door, it blocks the door for the entry of the virus. Some preliminary data is also reporting that COVID-19 may target our immune cells. This immune cell is called natural killer cells or NK cells. It is well known that not only the number, but the activity of NK cells decreases as we age. Now let's see the fertility rate based on age. Now age 0 to 9, there's zero fertility while fatality increases with age. But global efforts are also targeting this strategy of blocking the door of NK cells. So from all these, we can see, traditionally, when we talk about virus, we think of a vaccine as cure. Now, we see it from a very different perspective because we know now a different enemy would need a different strategy. And in terms of COVID-19, other non-vaccine strategies may be more feasible.